What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this is your stimulus check update and stimulus package update for February 13th. Happy Saturday folks and I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Now before we get into the video, I would like to announce the winner of the free $50 Amazon gift card. And the winner is Faith Nicholson. Congratulations to Faith, you have just won a free Amazon gift card. Now folks, if you didn't win a gift card, don't feel bad because I'll be doing many more giveaways in the future. In fact, if we get my channel to 75,000 subscribers by the end of this month, I will be giving away 5 $100 Amazon gift cards, all of them for free. But folks, that only happens if we're able to get my channel to 75,000 subscribers. So if you want to enter the giveaway, this is what you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, give this video a like, and leave me a comment down below telling me how much you think our third stimulus check should be. And also folks, don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family because I'm sure they will like the most up to date and reliable stimulus check news. So remember folks, let's get my channel to 75,000 subscribers so I can give away five $100 Amazon gift cards for free. The president called for it. And here's the point. People who got the first two checks are expecting a third. And the fact is the pandemic has hit these families like a wrecking ball. They're just balancing the food bill against the fuel bill and the fuel bill against the rent bill. And I have people coming up to me and saying, Ron, I'm going to use this money to make my car insurance payment. So I am for the original Biden proposal, $1,400, the threshold. We're going to uh, have a pretty vigorous debate uh, all the way through the process. I believe that the Senate proposal is the way to go offered by my uh, colleagues, uh, Senator Brown and Senator uh, Bennett. I know that the House uh, continues to make adjustments, but here's the bottom line here. We need to significantly reduce the poverty that we're seeing with youngsters from sea to shining sea. We're better than that. We're better than that. I'm committed to doing it. The reconciliation process? I believe there are ways to uh, get through the bird rule thicket. But here's the big issue here. We know that when we get vaccinations, the economy is going to pick up. I think we'll see uh, workers come back to the workforce. Their wages will be up. They deserve a wage that allows them to pay rent, buy groceries, pay for essentials. I support the proposal. Now, a morning console report found that 22.6 million Americans will be able to pay their bills through mid-July with a $1,400 stimulus check. Everybody tell me in the comments down below, what will you be doing with a third stimulus check? Will you use it to pay bills, invest, or will you save it? The report recommended lower income thresholds, increased child payments, and extended unemployment aid to mitigate risk that the pandemic could bring. The House Committee on Ways and Means included unemployment benefits through August 29th which some Democratic lawmakers said was not enough. A $1,400 stimulus check by March 1st would help 22.6 million Americans to pay their bills in full through mid-July without going to debt. The House Committees on Ways and Means included $1,400 stimulus checks with a $75,000 income threshold for individuals in its stimulus bill. In January, according to the Morning Consult report, Roughly 30.2 million adults were unable to pay their bills, but following the $600 stimulus, but following the $600 stimulus payments approved in December, there was a 7 percentage point improvement from the months prior. Financial suffering was concentrated in low-income groups making $50,000 or less per year, with 16% of survey respondents in those income groups indicating that their expenses, indicating that their expenses exceeded their incomes in January. Now, in regards to extended unemployment benefits, while the Ways and Means Committee included extended $400 weekly unemployment benefits through August 29th, which contrasted Joe Biden's request to extend the benefits through September. The report said that extending those benefits through September, along with automatic stabilizers, will help, mitigate, will help lower the risk that could come with ongoing pandemic challenges. Now, Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon said in a statement that he would fight to get six months of unemployment benefits provided through September, given that both stimulus checks and unemployment aid 
play a critical role in supporting families. We can do both, the senator said. Now, Speaker Pelosi did say that she hopes to have a stimulus deal done by the end of February. And this spring, up to 11.4 million workers stand to lose their base unemployment benefits, while all out-of-work Americans could see the extra $300 in weekly benefits disappear if no stimulus deal was passed. The PUC, Pandemic Unemployment Compensations, which provides an additional $300 in weekly benefits, expires on March 14th. And the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, along with the PUC, will also expire on that date. But workers can still use the remaining PUA and PUC, and PUC weeks until April 11th. Now, Democrats are trying to pass the $1.9 trillion plan through reconciliation, which requires only 51 votes in the Senate. And that means the support of the entire Democratic caucus in the Senate, along with Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote, would be enough to pass it. But it remains unclear whether the bill will get backing from more centrist Democrats like Senator Joe Manchin. Now, for those of you on SSI and SSDI, here's what you need to know about a stimulus check. The IRS and Treasury would use your previous information on file to automatically send you a check. And the Treasury would conduct outreach to non-filers to inform them of how to file for the third payment if, ever, if extra information is needed. And any missing payment from a third check would be paid out as part of the tax season 2021. And the stimulus checks could be sent to you as early as mid-March. Now that is all the news in this video. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Remember folks that I am still doing the Amazon gift card giveaway. If we get my channel to 75,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away 5 $100 Amazon gift cards for free. So be sure to enter my giveaway by subscribing to my channel. Fall into another economic abyss would just be wrong. And I'd also point out that I wrote the original unemployment package, which allowed for an extra $600 uh, per week, covered the uh, new uh, workers, gig workers, the self-employed, independent contractors. And that was at a time when we had fewer uh, virus cases than we do now. I know we've talked before how you want to stop these cliffs. You want to avoid these unemployment cliffs that we keep seeing every few months. Do you think you're going to be able to get that done as Senate Finance Chair? I was very pleased that at our urging, President Biden chose to make a spe specific note in his most recent economic uh, statement when he was outlining a proposal that he wanted to get this done. He knows that it is absurd to just be plucking these arbitrary dates out of the air. Arbitrary, by the way, picked by Mitch McConnell, so that Mitch McConnell will have more leverage over the debates. And it's time to tie the benefit 